Hi guys, I'm Tom from Tom and Harry SMMA. Now in this video, we're gonna show you how we use something called Canva to create really nice, stylish looking ads for your clients, okay? The ad creative design part of SMMA is super important, but there are tools like Canva that really help you make the most of your ads and get the best from your ads, okay? In this video, we're not gonna waste any more time, I'm gonna show you how I would do it personally, um, and hopefully it'd be useful to you going forward. So without wasting any more time, let's hop in the Mac and let's get into it. Right guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is head straight to Canva. So go to canva.com, all right? Now, Canva is free. However, if you pay for Canva, which is like $11 a month, something like that, you get access to a whole bunch of images that are license free. You get loads more design options. It's absolutely, really, really worth you have just paying the monthly subscription to it because you do get a ton more, all right? But if you're at the beginning stages and you can't afford to, then just go with a free version. It will get you It will get you as far as it can, okay? Right, once you're in Canva and you've signed up, let's say, for example, we wanna, we're working with a client. We'll talk about which client in a minute, but we wanna create an ad. Now, on let's take Meta, the Meta platform, so Instagram and Facebook, you want a nice ad that's gonna feature on the feed, okay, and on the story. Now there's two ways of doing it. I'm gonna show you how I do it, okay? But let's just, just go straight to create a design, okay? And it tells you what you'd like to create. So every time I do an ad for Instagram or, or the Meta platform, Facebook, I would always click Instagram post. It meets the right dimensions, so it's 1080 by 1080. Um, it's the perfect square. So in terms of it looking on the feed, it looks it looks great and it's just the right size. So you don't have any borders that go with it and things like that. So that's the first thing I would do is hit Instagram post, okay? Now this will make your life so much easier. It's, it's lagging a tiny bit because I'm recording for you guys, but you'll get, the, you'll get the idea. Okay, so we have our template. We have a blank canvas now. Now, depending on who you're working with, there are so many templates. Now, you can see here on the side, there's lots of different options. Now, it could also be, by the way, guys, that your client has a Canva account already. If they do, ask if they can make you a team member, okay? Then you can just go in and do all this yourself. The likelihood is they may, they may not have Canva, okay? But there's lots of options down the left-hand side here. There's a place where you can add text. There's uploading your own pictures. That there says elements, okay? and I'll show you what Elements is, and then the, this is the most important one, it says Templates. Now, I'm gonna click on Templates, which I've got already, and I'm gonna type in what I want. So let's say I'm working with, let's say you're doing lead gen for, uh, let's say a landscape gardener, or a landscaper, someone who lays like turf or driveways or, or whatever, and you need some really nice ads for the lead gen. I would type in landscaping. Okay, it helps if I actually spell it right. Okay, now when you do that, look at all the templates that Canva are already giving you. Okay, so all you gotta do is click one and it will show you. It will show you exactly what it looks like. 30% off, agricultural farming services. That's a ready-made ad. Now, you can change as much of that as you want and I'll show you how you do that. but. Let's say this is a really good one, or, or a pretty good one. If you just click there, it will just override the last one, okay? So this is obviously a lawn service, but let's say, let's say for example, it's, a, it's someone who does driveways. You can actually change all this. So if I change, if I click on this image here and click delete, it will disappear, okay? However, I wanna replace it with another image. So if I go elements, Okay, if I go elements and go up here and type in driveway. Now, just a disclaimer, guys, your client really should give you the work they've done. So if you are working with a professional service, you know, like lead gen for a business, it, you should really not use stocked images. Ask your client to send you through images of the work they've done, the lawns they've done, the driveways they've done, the brickwork, whatever you're doing, okay? Super important. However, we don't have that right now because I'm just doing this as an example, but let's pretend that this was your client here. So it comes up with photos. If I click see all, I've just typed in driveways and it's given me a whole bunch of stuff. So if I do, I don't know, um, 
Let's go with, let's go with that. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, I can put that there. I'm gonna drag this up. Okay, and there was already an overlapping thing here. So watch this, if I click on here, right click and go send to the back, it puts that circle back. You can see there's cir that circle there. If I highlight here, all right, that, this is an, an element that you can see I can move it around, it's great. But let's just pop it back to where it was. So you can see here, I've dropped in a, a different image. Okay, we can do, um, let's do, uh, I'm currently, well, I currently live in Bristol, but let's do London. London driveway services. I'm just making this up. Now that could be, this could be the name of your business, the business you're working with or whatever. Up here, there's a space for a logo. So it gives you a chance to put in whatever. So Tom Ford planning, that would do. Okay, and you can move the logo about, you can do whatever, you can even change the color of things. So <clears throat> let's have some text underneath here. Um, what's it saying? If you need expertise with gardening or landscaping, we're here to help. Yeah, fine. Uh, contact us, there's a phone number website now that that is kind of ready-made <laughs> so really as an ad goes I, you could I wouldn't use that because I've only it's only taken me two seconds to do but that gives you an idea of how easy that is and then to download it you just go share download okay P always download it as a PNG and then just hit the download button all right now let's say we don't want any of that we just delete it out Let's go back to templates. Let's go with another one. Let's go with um, let's again really good one. Let's say you're working with a real estate company, an estate agent to to bring in new you know to bring in people as on a lead gen basis. You can actually here's a ready made template. If I click away from that, I can drop in. I go to houses. This is where they would give you a, a house, you know, their own content basically. In fact, that's a better, that's a better template. So if I click on that, amazing. So you can actually sell the individual houses or list the individual houses, okay, and do a different one for each house. Change it up, you can change the color. So if I click here, you can have that bright orange or bright you know, cream, do the same there. All right, you can even, if I actually drag these elements like that, I can change everything in one go, okay? Or I can just do that and go up to here and do pink, pink. Let's change that. It's really clever, guys, and my God, it saves you a lot of time. But also you want to make sure it's not, oh, I don't know what I've done there. You get the idea, I'm just, I'm just messing around with it. But um, it, it really, really saves you time. And it's incredibly useful. And I spend hours, guys, honestly, I will spend hours looking at templates, like all the time. And I'll store templates in my favorites for different niches I'm working with. Um, let's say you're working with a dentist. Okay. And it's lead gen for, I don't know, um, Invisalign or implants. We can go, in fact, I wonder if, yeah, here we go, implant treatment. Look at these, look at these templates that are already made for you. You can go all the way down here. And the key thing is, is to, Make sure they don't look, you know, if everyone used the same templates all the time, then you would have the same looking ads. But you can actually change up so much by using it. Without Canva, I wouldn't be able to run our SMMA, me and Harry. We wouldn't be able to do it. But you can do so much. Like if I click on this, they've got, you can add in the 70% or whatever the offer is that you've agreed with your client. It could be free consultation, whatever. And you can really change all this around. But you can see the level of these ads, uh, of these these templates, just so, so good for you. Um, here's a very, very simple one. 
you know, that, that you could even run that, just change up the names, change up the offer. Again, if they've got any of their own pictures, if I delete these pictures out, you can see they've left with clouds. That's really important when you see that on Canva because it means it's holding it in place for you to fill it with another image. So if I was to go, go back to elements here and type in dentist and then click photos on the photo tab, I can now drag this and pop it in. And if I double click, I can just move her around like that. And then we want another one. So let's do this one. And I've dragged it in and I can drag it back just to there. So how easy is that just to drag and drop images back into, into, into the template? Okay, again, to, to undo, I can click undo. Keep going, keep going, there we go, and we're back. All right, let's go back to our templates and just see what else there is. You know, so here we go. Even this one here. You know, there has to be the offer on it though. You see, that's a video, so that probably would be no good. Um, but you get the idea, is what I'm trying to say, guys. Now, if, for example, I have used this, right, for a dentist, let's say I've used this ad. What I like to do personally with, what I like to do personally with any of our ads, I like to have a feed ad and a story ad because people view Instagram stories very differently as they would do on the feed. So I personally like to have a full length story ad and not let the let it drag through on the feed, if you know what I mean. So say, I'm, say I've just done this and it's all complete. I would then go resize and I'd go resize as an Instagram story. So I'd save this one, by the way, guys, save that. So you've got it ready. I'd resize it as an Instagram story. Okay. And I would be using this. Now I'd probably drag all this up a bit more to about there. Let's just make it slightly bigger for you guys so you can see it. There we go. And you can then make, make some changes. So I can maybe make that bigger because it's on a story. Professional teeth whitening services. So let's make that bigger. Okay. And really you can make anything bigger. Just be aware that if you're changing it to a story, don't have anything here because the learn more button will feature up on here. So just don't bother. And also don't go too high up. Here is perfect. I'd say don't go any further than about there because on a story, this gets darkened out with who it's coming from. So you can't see any text under that. So make sure you don't have anything above here where that box is, okay? And really make sure you've got nothing about there. Sorry, about there because the learn more button is gonna be just here, okay? But you can see like what you can do and you can just, it, you know, I haven't created this myself, it's just a template. And you can drop in your client's logo, you can drop in the offer, 20% off or 100% off, whatever you're doing, you know, whatever you've agreed with your client. You can change the font up, so if you click on it, go up to here, you can change it to anything you want, okay? Um, let's go with that one, there we go. And again, if I delete these out, they should be, okay, so they haven't um, filled in like that, but that's okay, that's no problem. You can just go to, well, you can either then copy that one. If I just did control paste, you can, just, you can literally just pop it in there like that. And then do the same thing here. And now I can go to elements Let's put in dentist again, or teeth actually. That was probably a better one. Photos, okay, and then let's bang that one in there. Double click, bring her across. That might not be the, actually the ideal one, but you get me. There we go, let's pop her there. Let's have this one here, let's drag her into there. I don't know, let's do, oh, that's a good one. 
There we go. All right, guys, so you can see, that, so I'd then save this again. So you've got your feed one, which would be here. So that would sit on the Instagram feed. You've resized it, so you've got one for the story, and you're done. But the idea of what I'm trying to show you, and it doesn't have to be dentists, you know, this is for landscapers, it's for e-com. You know, if, if I was to go into, into templates and type in products, product display like guys there's everything you need it's crazy good you can, it's really unbelievable ways of demonstrating your product um, you do have to get content from you know the, the one thing I will stress is make sure your client is sending you content images of their products images of their services their work they do Canva does has a has a whole bunch of images you can use but it's stocked images Nothing is better than showcasing your client's real work. I cannot stress that enough. But you can see it just purely what the idea of how, cam, how, how powerful Canva can be. Okay, so really guys, sign up to it, tinker with it, have a look, spend hours looking at templates like I do. It's the only way you're going to understand and it actually makes you much better on a creative design point. But what you can do is just sensational. Look at that, that's not even real... The real product all this is fake so they put it all in it's really incredible how you can manipulate images to make them look good um so anyway have a look at it play around with it it's the only way you're going to learn but this is a real quick tutorial to show you how within smma you can use something like canva and it can change the game on how good your ads look so don't worry that you're not creative don't worry that you're struggling and you're you know you're you don't have the ideas to hand canva will give them to you all right so anyway with that in mind, guys, I'll wrap the video up and yeah, we'll see you soon.